All right, I'm just gonna show you this here. I'm gonna have you change something in your document properties. So when the situation comes up, you'll know how to do it. Uh, eventually you will be measuring a small tool or object and recreating that object and then 3D printing that object as well. Depending on the tool or the units of measurement you run into, you may wanna change some of those, change that. Right now we've been operating in inches. What if you want to operate in millimeters? Handy to know how to do that. And the way you're going to do that, just open up your lampshade and go ahead and click these three lines. That, that's it's your document menu next to the word on shape. Come down and select workspace units. Uh, basically, this little window comes up and it says default length unit. So every time you draw something, how do you want it in? any of these increments here. So let's uh, just go ahead and change it to millimeter. It's the most common thing. Now, the display decimals, that doesn't mean it automatically, if, it, if you turn the display decimals up or down, it doesn't mean it's gonna round it. It won't round it. It'll just display what you wanna see. Um, I mean, honestly, for most of what we do, you can get away with maybe even just two decimals. Uh, but uh, I just leave it at three. I guess like 0.125 and an eighth of an inch is three. Because um, we're usually not in millimeters, but I do want to show you this. Okay, uh, angles and everything else stay the same. Uh, mainly, I just want to see, can you change it to millimeters? All right, and what I'm going to do to verify that is just click this circle here, and I'm going to look down. This is a handy little feature in the bottom right where I'm moving my mouse. Uh, everything you click, it'll tell you how big it is, all right? Um, so it's going to tell me when I click that, that I've got a 80 millimeter circle. Um, it'll tell me that actually, if I click two objects, it'll tell me the distance between those objects. Um, if I click one object here, it's going to tell me that as well. And actually, I must have misspoke. How is that seven diameter 76.2? This this when I clicked here and gave me the length of that circle. Yeah, it should it should give me a diameter 25.4, which makes sense. So let's see, circumference is pi times diameter. So 20. Yeah, that, that must be what it's doing. 25.4 times 3.14 would be about 79. So it must be giving the circumference of that circle and that's why it says length there. Not sure why, why it's doing that. But anyways, uh, I'm just gonna come by and verify that you've got things in millimeter. There is, is area and that's a pretty cool tool too. Tells me how much area that top of that lampshade takes up, 506 millimeters square. So open up that lampshade change everything to metric, and one more lab credit in the books. Keep it up.